five minutes. Votes cast after that time will not be counted, but may still be charged. OK, when we left them, Joe, Martina and David were in the middle of a bush battle, desperately trying to win immunity from the first vote off. The stakes couldn't be higher, so who would prove the best when it came to passing water? Oh, shit, what's happening? Oh, no, I'm all right. Oh, the line, quick, the line. Oh, I better not take chances like that. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we... Oops, lost some time there. Uh. I thought maybe if there was less water going into this tank, then that would be less pressure pushing the water out. But I don't think it made any difference. Don't drop it. David, David, David. I think he's got a worse attention span than me. Uh. <laughs> David. He was going crazy. He couldn't stand waiting around. He couldn't stand. <laughs> and he's only a short, stumpy fella, so we had to get up on the step and it was going everywhere. You're a silky mover, you know that, David. Yeah. Oh, that's impressive. 47, 48, 49, 50. Yeah. Good for you. Bravo, bravo. Okay. Nice one, son. Couple shot, couple shot. Go, hmm. son. One. Two. Try not to lock at the top. Just straight down. Oh. How many? Twelve? Oh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Are you all out of breath now? Fine figure of a man. Go on, George. Yes, Uncle George. Two, Two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine. Bloody ten. hell. You got George? <clears throat> 45, Five, 46, 46, 47, 48, 48 49, 49, 50. 50. George, yeah. 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 Bravo, George. Put him into shame, mate. Stop, stop. Not bad for a senior citizen, huh? Well, I'd That's be sensational, <laughs> George. David, he didn't have a chance. I think he figured out early on that he, he didn't have a shot with the with the stronger, you know, physically stronger people. Okay. Oh, and another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight two, uh -oh. three. Pushing it, Uh-oh. Yeah. You're out. I'm out. It went under. Okay. Okay, well. Of what? Good luck. Good to see you. Thanks, mate. By the by, I didn't win. <laughs> I think I'm second, I've come to third. Which means I'm up for eviction next uh, Wednesday. Which I'd rather not have been. Good luck. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. See you later, boss. OK, love. Make sure dinner's ready when we get back. Yeah. Joe is, is in the lead. Uh, we, uh, both Joe and I thought Marty would just walk this. But it is close. And, you know, Martine can do those third sets. You know, she can play for hours and come out winning. She can come from behind and come out winning. So I wouldn't write her off. I feel like Hillary Clinton, you know? Who, <laughs> me? I feel like Hillary Clinton. I, I know I'm going to lose, but I don't want to give up. I was thinking about sabotage and just losing on purpose, but I cannot do that. <laughs> Here, how about baseball? <laughs> you can't see it. Oh, shit, I let it go, huh? Oh, no. You've lost. Oh, I messed it up. Ah! <laughs> I was talking to you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thank <laughs> for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I won the first push battle. Damn right, it was me. <laughs> Stupid game. I've never been so... I've been so bored in all my life, Martin. Joe Swartz just beat the most crowned tennis female player in history. I just beat her. What can I say? I knew I, sh I knew I was in the wrong game. I should have been in. I should have gone to sports. <laughs>
So, Joe won. Well done, Joe. And is guaranteed immunity from the first vote off. However, Martina and every other celebrity who comes second in their respective bush battles will get one last chance in immunity in the final bush battle. Mm, but David, along with the other losing celebrities, is definitely up for the first vote and is, more importantly, gutted. Yeah. Uh, the phone lines have now closed. Please don't call. Your vote won't count and you may still be charged. Right, back to camp now. And while Joe and Martina were bush battling their little hearts out, the rest of the celebs were getting ready for dinner, which meant one thing. Staring up at a wicker basket, slowly being lowered into the camp. Just push it. Whoa. Whoa, easy. Congratulations. In today's Bush Tucker trial, you won 12 stars and a feast for you all to enjoy. In your tucker bag tonight are two wild bushfowl. Oh, that's wonderful. It's like a dream come true. Now, I'm not saying I actually want to do it, but it seems that there is a closed shop on the catering here. I mean, I haven't mentioned anything yet. I may well do. It is different for us. We came in late, you know, and it, it, that, I didn't realise what a difference that would make coming into their camp. You know, it was very clicky. I look down sometimes and you think, there's no chance of getting on that cooking. You had a nice day? I'm concerned about Timmy because he looks so despondent. He's a lovely little guy, and I'm concerned he's not going to be able to pull himself out of that. Next time somebody bothers you, I think you've got to mention it. Because it, it's not doing you any good. It's festering in you. I know it's not you in your nature. It's not. I know, but you've, you know... This is a competition. It is a bit of who dares wins, I think, sometimes. You know, you've got to be prepared to lose when you take a chance like I did the other night with everybody. And, now, you know, now they've loosened up a bit. Most, the, adult, the older ones seem to have loosened up a little bit. Fine, I know you've got... Boff. Boff. Honestly, boff about that. Yeah, that is boff, is it? That's boff, yeah. Uh, it, it's completely boff. That's, that's, and and that, that, this morning was, I'm still laughing. Every time I think about it, I start yeah, laughing. Yeah. So don't let me get the buggers get you down, all right? Of course I'm still the new boy. Oh, I should probably be the new boy until the day I go. Bloody hell. <laughs> Joe won, Joe won, yeah, he had Joe won. Can't believe Joe beat Martina in the bush battle. Who knew? Look what I found. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of noticing, like, I come back today and there was a little bit of, you could feel it in the air. He's just feeling a little bit more uncomfortable and I don't like that. I'm finding agony. I can see that, I can see the group getting, there's all the little clicks down. I don't want to be part of any of them clips. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I think Timmy, Timmy's finding it a bit hard, so I had a little chat with him, just so he knows that I've got nothing against him. I think he's a really nice man. The thing is, the way I see it, you come in late, you've got as much right as anyone here to be in the show. You're part of this. Just because we've been here a bit longer, they feel they've got a bit more right to be here. And they haven't. Your honesty is refreshing and lovely, and, uh, and you're a sweet and lovely man. So how are you, Timmy, man? So are you. I just think some people I'm glad you're things. sharing the cave with me tonight. Yeah, no touching. No, I'm really glad you're coming to the cave tonight. I'm really looking forward to having you there. No, it'd be cool. 